Just a little quick comparison video between the Emerson 21645 and the GEAO V1. The Emerson over here is from 1915, the GE is from 1917. The GE has a oscillator mechanism that's a pot metal gearbox, pot metal rear cover, and you can either set it to sweep or put the screw in the center for it to be stationary. It's a loop oscillator. I'm going to run it for a second to show the badge, motor tag. So the older ones had the brass motor tag on the side and then a brass switch plate for off, high, and low. The GE is a loop design which I feel like is one of the more elegant fans ever made. Um, this is the older one with the cast iron loop. The motor is stamped steel, also known as drawn steel construction. Uh, brass blades, wrap steel cage, uh, stamp brass hub. And this is a replacement bearing carrier from Tim Marks made out of brass. The GE uses a cup and wick system for the front and just an oil port on the back with the wick underneath inside the gearbox that goes to the bearing. Pretty simple, um, a lot more maintenance involved than on the Emerson. And this one is not like the bigger GE, so it doesn't have a directional change. You have to pick it up to change whatever direction the fan's facing. It's no big deal. It's a lightweight fan. It sits on three feet. Um, very elegant design. Uh, seems to be more compact. The GE is 13 inches, rough, a little shy of 13 inches tall. Over here, the Emerson has my favorite Emerson base, which is the smooth step base. And this one has a pivot adjustment. It has the directional collar. Of course, that's pot metal, so you have to be careful with it. The oscillator also has the um, ratcheting adjustment or uh, that's not what this is called but the adjustable wheel anyway and a bronze arm originally this had a ball t detent oscillator wheel but usually those were broken so they put these on here back in the 20s cast iron motor housing cast iron oscillator box um, nice brass motor tag Let's see, 21645 this is a 9 inch Emerson Turn it back around. This is a brass blade with a cast iron hub, brass cage, brass struts, and this is a wrap brass construction. It's very nice. The Emerson is a three speed switch. The GE over here, the V1, is a two speed fan. And these are actually fairly uncommon. Now, the Emerson didn't require much in terms of anything to be repaired usually these most of the parts are good except for the pot metal collar and those ball detent wheels and the, this one uh, the ball detent wheels taken care of and the uh, directional collar works just fine so that's nice the GE over here a little bit cheaper construction a little bit more elegant you can see the Emerson is about 14 inches high, which is an inch shorter than the Emerson. It looks a whole lot bigger in the picture, but in reality, the blades measure 9 inches on both of them. So, uh, I'm going to post a bunch of pictures, so if I forgot anything, I, I apologize. So, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, run them both on all the speeds for you, so you can kind of get an idea of what the motors sound like uh, and look how smooth the oscillators are. Both of them are going to be running 100, about 120 volts, so no big deal. I'll keep track of the spin down on them. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start the GE on high. Most of these early GEs always start on high. Quick start up, smooth runner. Listen to the motor. It's got a touch of what people refer to as the GE whine, but motor actually sounds very nice, in my opinion. Go to low. And of course, like most GEs, unlike Emerson, the bearings were worn out in here. So on top of the bearing carrier I got from Tim Marks, also got a set of new bearings for the front and rear. So this fan's running like it did brand new. And if you know my restorations, you know electrically, mechanically, everything was done as well as I could possibly do it. So anyway, we'll go back to high. track of the spin down. Not too bad for fresh bearings that haven't been broken in and being an oscillator that's engaged permanently. Well not permanently, you can take the screw out, put it in the center and make it stationary like I said. And uh, so we'll start the Emerson. Um, this one starts on low. See, the oscillator's not quite as smooth, but like most of these Emersons, motor is quiet really no mechanical noise it got, um, from these early Emersons or even most Emersons so we'll go to medium Spin down. All right, that's pretty. That, that's fair for an oscillating nine-inch Emerson. Now, keep in mind, I did not restore this fan. You can see um, a couple little places, like right there. You see the base, but the front of the motor cover and the base are really all I need to repaint. So this fan's in, in great condition. Somebody did a fair job on the restoration. So anyway, to close out the video, I'm just going to get both fans running on high. Thanks for watching.